video i'm going to solve another uh, a level physics question the diagram shows uh, the graph of force on a car against the time when the car of mass 500 crashes into the wall for example here is a wall wall and a car that has mass of 500 uh, 500 kilogram 500 kilogram it crashes into the uh, this wall okay and this is a uh, force time graph it, it it says that the force on the car increases until it becomes maximum that is 10 into 10 power 4 uh, newton and uh, at that uh, time of 0 0.05 and after that the force decreases it's decline okay until it becomes zero okay which one of the following is the correct statement okay, we have to find the correct statement the area under the graph is equal to the initial momentum of the car so first of all a what is the area area of the this graph is actually as we know that uh, on the vertical axis we have the force on the horizontal axis we have the time okay so area of the graph always shows the product of force into time okay so it means area of the graph is equal to force into time that is that must be equal to equal to impulse that must be equal to impulse okay and area of this graph impulse is equal to impulse is equal to area so area of this graph because this is a triangle so area is equal to one over two half uh, base base is that from this to this here 0 0.1 multiply by perpendicular that is uh, 10 newton power 4 newton okay this is perpendicular this length that is 10 newton power 4 and this uh, 0 0.05 okay this will give us 10 raised to power 5 okay uh, this this will give us 5000 5000 newton okay so impulse equal to our area is equal to area is equal to our impulse equal to 500 5000 newton okay but as we know that impulse is equal to change of momentum as we know that impulse is equal to change in momentum change in momentum okay impulse is equal to change of momentum okay so as we know that change of momentum is uh, equal to final momentum minus initial momentum so as we know that after when the car crashes with the wall so its final momentum going to be zero initial momentum is pi so it means the it means the change of momentum is equal to pi or impulse is equal to pi and impulse is equal to area that is the area area of the graph shows the impulse and impulse is the change of momentum that is equal to pi in this condition when final momentum becomes zero it means in magnitude impulse or area is equal to initial momentum so we can this is actually the confu uh, confuse he want to confuse the examiner want to confuse actually if examiner says that the area under the graph is equal to impulse impulse change of momentum or initial momentum so these three options are correct impulse change of momentum or initial momentum so all options are correct so in, he says initial momentum so this a option is the correct one so momentum is not conserved so this option is wrong because why because the momentum is always conserved in the collision in any case momentum does not violate it kinetic energy is conserved in the collision in this kinetic energy is not going to conserve okay because kinetic energy has been lost okay so it means kinetic energy is not conserved average force on the exerted is 10 10 power force okay so average force is not 10 10 10 power 4 because if we take the average of force it will equal to 10 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 2 because average is initial starting force ending force mean minimum force maximum force over 2 we have to divide by 2 okay so minimum force is 0 and final force is 10 to 10 power 4 so uh, where is 10 to 10 power 4 here you say the final point is 10 10 into 10 power 4 okay and when we divide by 2 it will give us 10 uh, does not give us 10 to the power 4 okay it is 5 into 10 to the power 4 newton so average force is not 10 to the power 4 but it is 5 into 10 to the power 4 so d option is also wrong so a option is the correct option okay thank you